Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of my Zanzibar vlog. I hope you enjoyed part one. If you did, please go back and give me a thumbs up, okay? <laughs> if you're feeling the vibe over here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. So yes, this is a part two of my vlog. I basically just wanted to show a little bit more of um, the excursions and stuff that we did. Show some love to our family friend who actually owns a travel agent, um, tour an excursion company. That's who we actually booked a lot of our excursions with, which was so great because the price like included everything, like the taxi to pick you up, the tour, lunch, and taxi home. So that way you don't have to figure out a ride to the excursion and then a ride home after you're done excurded i don't know if that's a word and toured like the whole day you're tired the sun burn you out it's raining with that malarkey right you just jump straight back in back home and um yeah plus we didn't only stay in one place we actually went like to another accommodation and stuff like that too so also wanted to show that as well so if it's not too long and i can fit everything into this vlog then i'll just do this as the last part but if i find that it's just a little bit too long then i'll do one more vlog just show like the last part of the excursion and stuff that we did and the accommodation that we stayed in and yeah of course i wanted to show some love to um angela and jackson because they were just so amazing <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing already but talking of Angela and Jackson I need to tell you guys a quick story time of how I'm so dramatic yeah I don't care how me and my mom almost died in a whole stampede getting on the local bus okay Lich thought I was about to lose my life right it was OD like it was too much it was too much i'm cracking up because it was so funny so basically um angela and jackson came to see us while we were staying in um Boiju. so they showed us how to get from like Boiju, paji to in down into stone town via the bus and when i say you save like three quarters of the money like it was lit and it was a really good experience by the way so we were like yeah cool like let's do it right Plus we were um, saying, we wasn't staying in Stonetown for too long. Oh, and we stayed in a hostel too. And you know my bougie, but yeah, I was like, when my mom was like a hostel, I was like, girl, no. <laughs> like, straight no. But um, it was actually really cool. Like, it was clean, it was nice, it was comfortable. You know, it was somewhere to just like stay, shower. Plus you get up, you go, you do what you, it's Stonetown, innit? You do what you need to do, you chill. Plus you got money off the breakfast. and when you stay there i think you can buy like a voucher that gives you like free breakfast at their cafe which is out in stone town somewhere so it's actually really good um so yeah i want to show all of that too but but yeah so they came to see us and we was like all right cool we're gonna go back to stone town with them yeah um so they said they're gonna show us how to get there via the bus. Like I said, we saved so much more money and it was a good experience. So we was like, all right, cool. So obviously we're leaving from like Boiju, Paget. It's a little bit more like country verse in the city. Do you know what I mean? So we're more like beachside, whatnot. And so where we left from was a little bit more quiet. And then obviously as the bus goes on and starts going more into town and stuff, that's when it gets busy, right? So we're like, this is cool. Like the bus ride was cool. We got on, we was like some of the first people on the bus. Um, no hustle bustle. I didn't experience nothing crazy. Like even sitting on the bus, I didn't witness anything insane. Anywho, me and my mom decided we're gonna get the bus back. We was like, well, we saved so much money. That's lit, we're getting the bus home, yeah? Who, who told us to do that? Okay, okay, we live to tell the tale, but who told us? <laughs> You don't like to do that. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, if you know me, soft life, like anything that is hustle, bustle, just way too inconvenient and just too much, I'm not on it. Like I just don't want to do it. Like please make it simple and easy because I don't have <laughs> time. I cannot. Cool. <sighs> I think our first mistake was basically getting the bus back on the weekend so it was legit like market day like it was insane so we decided we're gonna get the bus back so we've gone we've got a little tuk-tuk yeah 
to the bus stop chilling there with the locals you know chilling waiting for the bus we got our little rucksacks and a little piece of shopping that we did in stone town to go back and um everyone's just there chilling vibing my own business shopping in the market waiting for the bus in the heat it's africa it's hot it is what it is isn't it like i'm not complaining about the heat 20 minutes for the bus like there's loads of different buses but obviously it depends on where you're going in it so for our bus yeah it was like 20 minutes cool so we see the bus coming up me and mom's like all right cool that's the bus that we need let's get ready brother i say the bus pulls up the bus hasn't even parked every like all these people where were all of you before because i understand everyone was waiting but can we relax everyone came rushing for the bus oh my days but that's it my mom's only like four foot tall you know she's not <laughs> i mean my mom is not that big my mum is not that tall, she's a little bit, my mum is tiny. All I can see is a little piece of dreadlock sticking out. <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't laugh. All I can see is the locks sticking out. <laughs> when I say my mum got rushed, people rushed the bus. Like, people were diving through the windows throwing their bags through the window grabbing onto the bus mind you the bus is still moving and there's this big muddy pothole that everyone was trying to avoid and in slow-mo like in my head like i'm literally like my my reaction was so delayed because i was so cool off guard yeah my reaction was so delayed all i can see is my mom swallowed by a group of people and i'm like if i don't grab her and stabilize her she's lich about to fall in this whole pothole and be trampled by all these people <laughs> like chaotic mayhem and it's man or woman and pick me and when i say no one cares who is what that man them didn't care they were shoving the women out of the way the kids out of the way they're fighting each other and i'm like there are women in your presence and children like what is happening board off like everyone was fighting it was crazy and because i didn't experience that on the way the way it caught me off guard i was like oh hell to the no i was vexed like i was fuming people were stepping all over me trampling on me grabbing on my bag grabbing on my dress i'm like oh my god it's hot i'm covered in mud i've got people like savages like, i was like what is happening this is not cool so we're pushing we're pushing everyone's pushing 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 money is little piece of us you know the little piece of us got like 15 seats from the bus <laughs> oh my days so we've got on but because people are saving seats and jumping through windows and doing acrobatics yeah we're like okay there's nowhere to sit obviously you can't just stand on the bus like that it's packed everyone's arguing the driver's like he ain't going nowhere like we need to sort it out so me and mum's like you know we're just gonna take the l and we're gonna get off obviously i'm fuming because i'm like bro been waiting in the heat for the bus now or fully been attacked almost watched my mom get trampled to death thought i was gonna lose my life and all of that was for nothing like it was all in vain are you <laughs> are you bad oh baby what well, cool i was like do you know what it's what it is like, i'm about to fight someone like to stay on a bus in it like i guess that's how they do it in these bits like i can't fight the people for their culture in it so we've got off and like boom okay cool we're gonna wait in front of a bus yeah so now yeah great another 20 minutes in the heat but now it's not just hot yeah now i've fully been attacked okay like i've experienced something that i've never experienced before it's caught me off guard plus i'm hot i'm covered in mud people been trampling all over my toes like my bag's ripped i'm like yo like what is happening it was insane so another bus come my mum's like go mode like ready like where they are power rangers i'm when i say i'm ready to swing on everything like, <laughs> i'm fighting i am fight i'm fighting everyone i'm fighting everyone i'm fighting everyone <laughs> like i don't I don't, except for the grandma them and picking them, I'm fighting everyone. Like, I don't care. Are you mad? 
next bus come and it's like a similar commotion but you know like this time we were ready so me and my mom's like zoom like straight to the front to the door like we're following the bus as he's pulling up same thing people trying to dash bags through window and skydive and everything then this little ute comes the boy could have been about 13 14 superman somersault in out of nowhere like shoved me to the side i was like <laughs> These people are reckless. It was crazy. And you know me, princess, I was dying on the inside. Plus I almost died on the outside anyway. I was like, what is this? It was too much, but you know what we got on the bar? Like, as me and my mom sat down, we just started busting up. We just started cracking up. We were like, what the hell? Like, WTF? what was that we started cracking and then she was like oh they're gonna go like tell everyone oh my mom forced me to get on the bus and like almost got me killed and i'm like i was ready to vent because i was vexed like i was like i was mad i would have rather been in the taxi at the time when all the commotion was going on but i was like you know what yeah we made it we made it in one piece we actually lived to tell the tale like i wish i had like a gopro or was wearing like my harness or you know i felt like I could have just kept my phone out to really record but i would have lost my phone in the whole stampede anyway i would have loved for everyone to have seen how crazy and insane that bus ride was anyway i don't want to go into too much of the story and take up the whole time on the vlog yeah but yeah so just take time when you get in the bus especially from stone town going out um on like market days weekend rush hour and all that crazy stuff it was crazy Luckily, we only had a little piece of rucksack. Um, but yeah, that was the story. I'm so glad we lived to tell the tale. Like, we were dying. We were laughing. I was cracking. I was like, do you know what? I actually survived. Like, I'm a G. But yes, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace. Bye. Most when you see the fruit in front there. Not made. Huh? Not made. Okay, so that's the part yeah. for the mum. Mum Mom laid. Mum laid. Can I? Oh, yeah. I suppose it would smell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me quoi, Ah, because that's what I saw yeah. on the thing. Cinnamon, the queen of the spice. Why the queen of the spice? Here in Zanzibar, we use the whole the tree. We threw nothing from this one, like in Italy, they threw nothing to the pork. Because we have dal, we have ngalawa. So a part of that we are using mattress and the pillows. 
So this one can produce the fruit like a microphone, big one. But now they're out of the season. Inside they're like a cotton. Cotton. Yeah, when it's busting it itself. What inside the, the inside box? there are no nasty. Oh is it? Yeah. Can you just it's firm, but you can tell it's like an olive kind of Yeah, so mm. this one normally I mean that mat falling down mm. the fruit when busting itself. Then we call the some all the peoples, the colour people. Oh. Then they make in the battle it's very good for some suffering from the spinal cord. Oh. Because can protect it. That's oh. what it's called. So that's when the tree Oh my god. I am freaking out. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Someone please could you help me? I don't know this one, you know. You can eat, no problem. What, bite the, the seed? No problem. No, it's the thing on the outside, the gel. The gel reminds me of Guinea. This one is coffee. Coffee? Yeah. This is coffee? Coffee, yeah. Oh my god. No way. Yeah, because it's red. Yeah. That's the coffee bean. This one we call Sasabu uh, one. It's not leech but the family like leech. There are two kinds of them. The one more brown ready, like the, this is a little bit brown, mm -hmm. this is more ready. So this one normally is like a cosmetic for the women. This one is called the lipstick tree. An original lipstick tree. On that time our parents, before coming science and technology, having a chemical cosmetic, mostly I mean that for the lipstick. They were using this one if they want to go to the new place in the city, to the wedding celebration, to the normal traditional traditional celebration, they were using this one. Even Indian people on that time, because coming from Far East, mm. <coughs> they were using this one also, symbol for the marriage. You're gonna show you. <coughs> Lipstick, I mean that on that time. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Indian in case of marriage. Okay. <laughs> like zombie. Look at it. Is it everywhere? Why? No, no, it's not. I'm saying if you want to do the bus. Baby Simba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this one means that. Thing. That is so good. You can use it on yeah. the This one is henna. Oh, oh, henna. This is henna. Henna. Henna, you know, just I mean that for painting there. 
or making tattoo. Yeah. And the dark for the hair. Yeah. But I mean that in Zanzibar also we use henna. We can take leave like this, then we dry. After drying, we put it. After putting it, we put it in the Like this. Because the women in Zanzibar, if they go to the marriage, if they don't have the correcting like henna, it's like illegal marriage. So that's why they don't have to use the, the tattoo permanent. They have to use this one because if the women is working after a couple of one week, then back to the job, just is already removed. Yes, yeah. So, a part of using like a tattoo, the henna, we use it like to about the pregnant. Yeah, because the women studying, I mean, at the secondary school are not allowed in the form. They are not, they didn't allow to continue with education while they are pregnant. Even the women from Islamic society are not allowed to have a pregnancy before getting married. So that's where the one, if she see, has got little and nervous in the form, thinking maybe I'm a pregnant, and go to the hair of it. Then they take the funeral, get it off. Black pepper corn. Corn, yes. You can go close. Yes. Now it's out of the season, but soon. Yes. So, so. This one beans. This one. This one down the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, I mean that we don't have peace for smiling. Just you can guess what kind of a bean this one. No, 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 no. <clears throat> <clears throat> this one is vanilla. Oh, yes. This one all. Vanilla bean. Oh, I've never seen it though. If you've never seen, just move for here taking photo, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at your friend. It's just the I just don't want no monkeys jumping out on me. That's all I'm scared of. The monkey? Yeah, I'll pass no, monkey, out. No monkey, no monkey. Here they are only Michelangelo. Okay. <laughs> oh, be careful. Yeah, because this is like prickly. Yeah, because that's the. You scared the monkey? Yeah. Top your hair also. But here in Zanzibar, we don't have butterfly or bees can it pollinate vanilla. Oh. Before, how you can, <coughs> you can plant vanilla? <coughs> Just familiar like uh, black pepper. <coughs> because this one is a vein or creeper plant. <coughs> it's a vein or creeper plant that doesn't grow up well without having supporting the plant like this one. You can take just two meters or one meter and a half. Then you're starting to plant. Near raised to the plant of the culture like this one here. Could take a minute two years, then it's starting to produce the white flower. So instead of the flower, there are two garments, female and male. Mm -hmm. So if you have the butterfly, can touch during the morning. So that's where can connect it together and starting the vanilla can come. But here we don't have that insect, just what we are doing. We come with a sharp of stick. <coughs> sharp of stick like this one here and the hand, then you connect together from the two garments, female and male. So you can find after a couple of days, the vanilla, start, the flower shrinks, falling down. The vanilla starting to come, the green beans. But if you did bad pollination, the vanilla never come. Okay, shrink never come, the vanilla beans. Starting to come, <clears throat> the vanilla beans, but become new and mature, 
change color from green. Mm -hmm. Okay. And question from the vanilla. No, no, but it takes two years for you to, before you can pollinate. Yeah, before pollinate. Oh. So do you can you buy these like plants or seeds like? Do they have like nurse? What, they call them nurseries, but the garden center. <clears throat> because the cloves, if you wanted oh, to have it, the cloves, extreme. supposed to mean that you climb to the. Well, it's good for the stomach. It's good for yes. the teeth. So what we're doing, we take like this, and then we do like this. You see? What we're doing like this. Ooh. Ah, like susumba. Susumba. Yeah. Don't worry, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I've never made a, like a ring. <laughs> oh. Yeah, looks like in Zanzibar. Like Zanzibar, no difference with Zanzibar. Oh, Eucalyptus. Yeah, eucalyptus. Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm Take this one, fresh one. Bite a little bit. Bite. <coughs> Putting to the plate for decorating. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> I've never seen stuff used in that way. Hello, right? Normally, you would. So, like that, somewhere. We do like this. So, that if you cut yourself, you just need that to Yeah. Go you see the liquid? Become ready because they have the, <coughs> the other thing on. Yeah. Bang yam na. Na yam yam pan na. So na yam. Ah, bang yon yam. Look at this tree here. 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 Yeah, coming this flower coming from this one here. It's called Ilangi Langi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, coming from different. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I saw somebody with that. I wasn't sure what it was. Nice, nice. Oh, she likes African clothes, so I think I'm going to stick to getting I'd rather support these guys and go to the airport and buy it. You know what I'm saying? It's a pity they don't have a machine. Mm. You said 70, yeah? 70. This is Chanel number zero. No, this one number five. Chanel number five. Oh. <clears throat> it smells so pretty. Take video? Yeah. Wow. Come here, baby. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> say mambo. We say mambo. <laughs> Hakuna matata, matata Zanzibar. You are most welcome. Gata boy. Asante. Asante. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Almost more than nine or one hundred pal per day, but the stronger, the stronger, the difficult job because the dangerous. 
then it's difficult. Mm -hmm. So the guy he's going to show us how our parent will pick up the coconuts. Mm -hmm. So you are free taking photo, video, YouTube, no problem. Because during when he climbing on the top, should be seeing the soil. This is the normal for the one he's called him Kwezi. The one he climbing the coconut normally for Swahili name is called the Mkwez, coconut climber. Oh, okay. Why when he's singing over there? To remove the feeling if I'm at the top of the tree. Okay? Because if you want to climb without singing, if you be there and look down, oh, come on, maybe you want to jump. Yeah. Why the dangerous? Mm. So you're going to teach. Hello. Hello. Jumbo. 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 How are you? Karibu ni sana. You're most welcome. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Halfan. Yeah. Age. Without this one, you can slide. So that one should like this one. I mean that in Europe, you have like for the machine. Here we have everything nature. We make like number eight, like this one. This alpan go up. Oh, this tree. Yeah, you can go taking video on YouTube. Akuna matata. Pole pole, eh? With no black tea. Thank you, Asante. Oh, Do I sleep for two days? That's one of the little brain. 
of the set. Can you call them? I don't think the tuk tuk would make even make it. Lunch boxes are fucked. 